Turn my clock, I can't stop. Fuck around, make my 40 pop. No pop kind, I pop pistols. YouTube, what it do? My name is Bear Witness. Welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be talking about Anthem a little bit more and getting a little bit more in depth with your Anthem picks. But if you guys already saw the title, you guys already know what we're going to be talking about today. But before we get into all that, guys, we're going to be talking about how there is only 48 hours left in my giveaway. So make sure that you guys are going in the description, telling your friends about the channel, clicking the link. And making sure you guys get all signed up and registered for that but aside from that guys so you want to be a colossus man well if you like big armor if you like making big explosions and if you like picking up your teammates every time they do dumb shit then this is the class for you now one of the cool things that I thought about, and this is kind of what I'm going to talk about. Now, we didn't get a lot of experience with a lot of different uh, characters because it was the only the demo. They only let you get one. But hopefully in the open beta, we're allowed to test out some other ones and things like that. Um, you know, either way, I'm going to switch to my Xbox and play on that too so I can have an opportunity to try out every javelin itself and give you guys gameplay on that. And kind of break down the, how, how you can best play your class. Now, this character is all about or this javelin we'll say javelin it's all about soaking up damage now taking damage providing a lot of combo about combo abilities and things like that he is absolutely epic with it now when i tell you guys he was my favorite when it came to combos 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 combo damage is a way for you to prime up certain targets and then you know your other teammates are able to use that to make bigger damage so he has the acid gun or the acid cannon whatever you guys want to call it as one of his main abilities you guys will see it in the gameplay that you're able to pr pretty much coat people with acid when you coat people with acid it primes the target allowing for big explosions when comboed with other abilities like lightning or fire things like that explosives it creates a bigger boom so you know coating the right target with enough acid also combos to be a lot of damage like a ton of dps so he's great at priming targets so the idea is for you to soak them with the ice gatling what are or what i like to do or the acid gatling my bad is so what i like to do is i like to soak up my enemies with the acid gatling then i put up my shield and i activate the lightning cannon on my arm and not only does that allow some extra damage it also stuns them initially when they get hit by it there's like a small stun and then you know your teammates are able to kind of combo off of that he is probably your biggest asset when it comes to support items um he has the uh war cry which is another thing i didn't try out or i actually didn't get many abilities when it came to him i got way more abilities for the ranger but when it comes to war cry you know uh a lot of the other like a lot of the other people are weak like they're pretty much weak when it comes to health like they're they can't take a lot of damage so pulling enemies off of a certain opponent is definitely or a certain teammate is definitely going to help him out a lot and i i believe that this is probably the most effective when it comes to support classes i feel like he's going to be essential in completing a lot of the higher level abilities and a higher le a lot of the higher level gameplay and generally he's going to be one of the biggest assets to most teams most groups and things like this and I had, a, like I said, I had a lot of fun playing with him. The only thing that I would say is before you play him or when you're playing him, understand that if you haven't played him before, he is real big, he is real clunky, and he's somewhat hard to get used to at certain point in times. But other than that, he is very fun once you get used to him. Like I said, absolute necessity for most teams. And I think that it, the game's going to be a lot easier having them around than it is going to be if they weren't around. So I'm really glad they added a tanky support character. But what RPG doesn't have a tank? But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoy, you know, using these types of things, using these things. If you guys did get to use them, if you guys didn't, you guys will be able to use them in the open beta as well as if you guys are able to play on the 15th if you're on Xbox. You know, this is also a great thing for you guys to see. But this is what I think is probably the best support setup that you guys can have. Obviously, as you level, you'll get higher versions of these things. But the Acid Cannon, the Lightning Cannon those are all very big things that are going to be dope when it comes to spreading out aoe making sure you guys are taking care of ads and things like that so that is going to be like the like i said i'm just so excited for some of the in-game content that's going to be happening some of the strongholds raids stuff like that those all all of that's going to be great but 
like I said, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, you guys know what to do. Leave a like down below as well as clicking that sub button and that bell to be notified on every single one of my uploads. And thank you guys so much. And with that being said, I'm out of here. Peace.